Hi and welcome to Azure Virtual Desktop Training. This is Mohammad Kubeb. I'm a Microsoft MEP, Cloud and VDA Architect, and a Udemy instructor. In this training, we will cover what is Azure Virtual Desktop and what are the prerequisites to deploy Azure Virtual Desktop, and we will deep dive into the components which is required to implement Azure Virtual Desktop, and then we will see the demo hands-on lab on the Azure Virtual Desktop implementation. So if you want to learn more about Azure Citrix or AWS or FS Logics, you can check out my bestseller Udemy course, which is also available in Udemy for Business. And also you can check out my YouTube channel where I post all the new updates related to the public cloud as well as VDA. So you can subscribe and stay updated with all the latest updates. Uh, this course is specifically I targeted to the people who are very new to Azure and Azure Virtual Desktop. So if you have a knowledge, some knowledge or zero knowledge, just forget everything. So come as a fresh and uh, try to grab as much as uh, possible and make use of this session. Yeah. So introduction to Azure Virtual Desktop. So Azure Virtual Desktop, uh, desktop and application virtualization service that runs on Azure Cloud. OK, so those who are already from Citrix background for them, the explanation is not required, I believe. So you are already well aware of uh, Azure, uh, what, what is virtual desktop? So those who are very new to Azure virtual desktop, uh, let me quick, uh, quickly uh, give an introduction. What is Azure virtual desktop? So, <laughs> so in a nutshell, Azure virtual desktop, it is a desktop and uh, application virtualization solution that runs on Azure cloud. So the simple in in layman term, for example, let's say if a new employee joins a company, so you need to provide the laptop. So that laptop, pro, you know procurement it may take time etc right so once even though the procurement team has provided the laptop so you need to work with the it team to get install all your applications etc so it may take like uh, five days ten days uh, not ten days maybe approximately three four days it may take or a week it may take depends on external factor however the virtualization or uh, you know desktop and app virtualization is such a good technology where you can allow the user to bring their own laptop and you can access the uh, you know your complete uh, VDI or the complete application. See at the end of the day, what what matters for the user is the application, whether it's the Outlook, PowerPoint, or VMS Visio, or your business applications. He doesn't care about what operating system I'm running or uh, you know what backend uh, it is running. Yeah. So for him, it is just a for him or for her, it is just a application or desktop. So that's what we are going to deliver. So. In the traditional days, we used to deliver over the uh, 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 our on-premise technologies such as hosted in the data center. Either it may be on the public, uh, private cloud such as uh, VMware, Hyper-V, Zen server, etc. So, but with the help of Azure uh, Desktop, this is purely built on the cloud. So, you no need to worry anything about the hardware. So, some of the quick benefit: access your desktop and application virtually from anywhere. Since this. Uh, uh, Azure Virtual Desktop. This is hosted in the cloud, and by default, it is uh, you know accessible over the internet. So you can access it from anywhere at any like from anywhere, anytime at any device. So this is the uh, first point, and the second point, which is simple security management. So as I mentioned, uh, you know uh, you no need to spend much on the security, etc. In Azure. You have by default it comes with a lot of security, a uh, lot of security uh, such as your defender and it is integrated with a Sentinel, etc. We'll go deep dive into that. So you don't need to spend much time on it. So the third one is reduce cost with the pooled and multi session resource. So in order to give a brief about uh, this is my favorite part, reduce cost with pooled and multi session resource. I'm going to the whiteboard in order to demonstrate how it can reduce your cost. OK. So consider your on-premise uh, scenario, okay, or any other public, uh, uh, any other uh, uh, DAS provider, whether it may be like uh, there are n number of vendors available uh, in the market. So, for example, some vendor X Y Z, whether it is maybe Citrix or VMware or any other Nutanix uh, frame, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So basically, they are going to deliver the Vidya solution on the on-premise, right? So now it is supported some cloud as well, but take it take an example of on-premise. So if you wanted to have a VDA solution, first you need to buy a hardware. Right? The procurement of this it may take weeks or months. 
and you need to pay the capex which is a capital uh, expenditure so you need to pay the bulk amount in the starting itself okay it may be uh, it may be in millions if it is a user count is high okay so you need to pay in a short uh, single shot so this is one factor second factor you need to build your data center you have to put those servers in the rack and you need to do all the configurations okay it may take uh, another some time and uh, uh, it requires manual effort from your team and from your uh, the professional service team who is implementing the service you need to pay them again the cost uh, cost apart from the hardware cost what you are paying okay let's say once uh, you set up all the servers rack mounted connectivity is everything is done then the third thing comes uh, you know the licensing of uh, your uh, uh, vda vendor whether it is a citrix or vmware etc so you need to pay the we uh, are licensing cost for the vendor so this is the third cost and also for the hardware the here also you have to pay the license that i did not include such as your license for the vmware or if it is a different uh, hyper v or uh, if it is for the zen server etc that's a different story that is on the hardware level so on the software level uh, for the your uh, desktop virtualization you have to pay for the license either it is a user uh, license or uh, device license or concurrent license etc etc we have so once you have set up everything then you can build your virtual machines over here so again for the virtual machine you have to pay for the license if it is a windows 10 you need to buy a windows 10 vda license from microsoft or if it is a windows server we have to buy a windows server license plus you need to uh, pay for the ids license as well okay if you are publishing application you have to uh, pay for that as well which is a uh, uh, server license plus IDS license. OK, so. These are all, you know, by looking at so many configurations, so many, uh, you know, uh, things and uh, so many licensing cost, etc, etc involved here, right? In an on-prem, this is common for any solution irrespective of any vendor. If you are uh, deploying it in on-premise, OK, so now coming into Azure Virtual Desktop. So how it is different from the other vendor? or how it is different from traditional virtual desktop solutions. OK, so before I jump into this, so as you can see the to set up this at least you need months. OK, minimum month, maybe maximum it may take more than a month because it depends on all the external parameters. So now let's go to the Microsoft Azure Virtual Desktop. So Azure Virtual Desktop, it is a cloud based solution. So first of all, you no need to buy or you no need to configure any hardware, nothing. So if you want to, if you wanted to deploy a VD Azure Virtual Desktop, you just go to the Microsoft and tell that I need to deploy the virtual virtual uh, virtual desktop in the uh, cloud. So they will spin up the subscription and they will give the subscription to you. So we will deep dive into the subscription later. What is subscription and other things? So in default, it is a space in your cloud. They will give it to you. So now the good part is the two things control and access layer and resource layer. So control and access layer is the layer on which uh, you're going to uh, you know manage all your uh, uh, controls. So uh, 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 for example, if it is a uh, monitoring or if it is a uh, dashboard or oh, sorry SQL server, you know access layer. It is nothing but you know how you are allowing the user to access. For example, if you compare with the Citrix control layer is nothing but your delivery controller directors. Uh, etc storefront uh, and uh, that scalar gateway it is a access layer okay so so here all the control and access layer is completely managed by microsoft you are not you are not going to do anything so so your id gateway your sql server your brokering so everything is managed by microsoft it is a pass service some people call it as sas but uh, for me the complete AVD solution, it is a pass, not SAS. Why? Because we'll jump into what is pass SAS in the next coming section. So here, this is the resource layer. Resource layer is nothing but your subscription. So this is your space in the cloud. So you're going to create the virtual machines. OK, so once you create the virtual machine, this may be, you know, one or two days. Even, you know, you can deploy these parts uh you know uh, quickly so then you can uh, give the access to your user he can access the uh vdas so here first thing there is no hardware re required 
so there is no waiting period so third thing licensing so you no need to procure the licensing uh, etc it is like a pay as you go model so whatever you use you will pay however in the on premise it is not like that for example let's say you uh, you paid 5 million for your uh, vmware or uh, hyper v or nutanix so there is no way that you can save cost here even though if you use uh, only half of the resource you still going to pay for the 5 million however in the cloud it is not like that for example let's say in uh, in one week you are going to use 100 vms then you are going to pay for 100 in the second vm second week you are going to use only 50 vms then you are going to you know, pay only for the 50 vms not 100 vms which you created earlier so it is purely pay as you go so that is the beauty of cloud so you are not paying uh, you know uh, uh, on front and also the second thing is pay as you go so now third fourth thing so till this you may have a question so this is com this is common for uh, all the cloud if i deploy citrix on aws vmware on aws or citrix on azure or vmware on azure it is the same thing what extra i'm getting here so the fourth point will answer you this is licensing when it comes to your vda solution so in avd you are not going to pay for the license it is free for you if you have office 365 license and windows 10 license etc so we will cover the licensing part in details but on a nutshell if you have this license then you are not going to pay anything for the licensing part of your azure virtual desktop it is free so now coming to the point office 365 in today's world 99.99 percent of the company will have this license either maybe because of outlook or because of uh, our teams or because of onedrive they will go with this kind of license such as e3 or e5 so it is very rare that you won't see this kind of license with any customer so it's very simple if you have e3 e5 and there are some other license also i will uh, we can go through that later so then uh, citrix uh, uh, then azure virtual desktop is free for you you are not going to pay anything for the license but you are going to pay for the compute okay that is a different story okay that is common irrespective of any service you use so you are paying for the compute storage <coughs> network what we use here but you are not going to pay for the license so this is the very uh, uh, good part of avd and this differentiate this makes a different uh, you know this uh, different player when it comes uh, compared to other virtual desktop solution in the market and fifth thing you can use a multi session okay on the client os for example win 10 and win 11 so this is only possible if you deploy in azure okay i'm not talking about azure virtual desktop i'm talking about azure <coughs> uh, uh, if you deploy in azure cloud for example let's say if you have a requirement to deploy your citrix or vmware something in aws or google cloud then you cannot use multi-session so you have to use azure if you wanted to use multi-session okay so this is uh, one more uh, cost benefit i'm talking about so let's go back to our uh, uh, ppt so here i mentioned reduce cost with the pooled and multi session resource which already covered simple to deploy and configure which is also already covered which does not include any you know procurement hardware manual efforts etc it's just a portal you have to go you have to deploy your vms that's it cost effective as you well just can save your organization money because you pay only the virtual servers when your virtual servers are on so it means pay as you go so you are not going to pay uh, for the resource which are not utilized or which are in uh, off state easier to scale so <clears throat> this is again uh, not specific to avd this you can find it in another resolution also uh, you can scale your uh, vdas uh, immediately let's say uh, in a week you have 100 users and the another week you have a users maybe thousand so it is 10 times extra uh, large so you can easily spin up uh, the extra vms to keep uh, you know uh, to cope up the load however if you consider on premise then it is not possible why because you have to buy a new hardware that will take another months or weeks flexible like all the microsoft cloud services there are no contractual commitments with avd 
so it is not like on premise uh, like where you are paying your capex for one year three years etc so here whenever you look uh, you, you feel like okay i'm done with the avd i want to stop because for example let's say some contractors they will work only for uh, you know uh, fixed uh, uh, time right for example let's say one year contract or six month contract so for such workloads you can spin up pdas and after the contract done you can just uh, you know uh, <clears throat> Uh, destroy everything so that you are not going to make any commitments to any vendor that I'm going to use this for so so years, uh, like the one we do it in uh, on-premise. 